welcome back. So for today's video, I have a really quick grocery haul. We went to, or we did Walmart grocery pickup. This is my first time trying grocery pickup through Walmart and everything looks great so far. Um, there was a few things that they had to substitute for um, and all of them ended up in my benefit. So no big deal there. Um, so to start, I did two cases of the Clear America um, seltzer water. These are the unsweetened ones. I think it just doesn't contain any like artificial sweeteners, which some of the other ones did. Um, so I liked this. This says free from sweeteners, calories, and sodium. Um, so I grabbed a lime and blackberry to try. We needed a few household items, um, Q-tips, trash bags, and these are gallon um, storage bags some um, Comet bathroom cleaner. I've been using like the method cleaners and things like that in my bathroom and I just am not finding that they're cutting it with my shower and like the grout and things like that. So I grabbed this to see if that helps a little bit. The Wyman's glass um, cooktop cleaner. This is my favorite. And then I also needed fabric softener. So I just got the Downy Infusions in Amber Blossom. Um, I am trying um, Biz's from the My Busy Kitchen or The Busy Kitchen. I'll try and link her. She's on Instagram. She's amazing. She's super funny. Um, she has a little bit of um, a foul mouth, if you will, um, which I don't personally mind. Um, but if you're watching around kids, I would be aware of that. But she has amazing pizza crust um, pizza dough recipe, I should say, and she's used it for many things. So I'm trying her recipe and it calls for, um, rapid rise yeast. I got some of these pretzel crisps. I plan on making some egg salad this week for lunch. So I grabbed those to eat with that. Matt's favorite snack is Frito scoops with bean dip. Um, so I grabbed that for him. We needed bacon for a recipe and then pepperonis for our, um, pizza and I did get turkey pepperoni. Um, I got the Great Value pizza sauce, um, a peppercorn grinder. This is one. Um, this one was like double the price of the regular black peppercorn. Um, and I'm assuming either they grabbed it on accident or maybe they were out of the original one, but I ended up getting the peppercorn medley, which is not a big deal to me. Um, refried beans were having um, fajitas this week, so I grabbed that to go along with. Some creamy peanut butter. This I've never tried. Um, it's a sweet red wine. I'm typically like a bold red wine drinker, but Matt prefers like cold red wine, and I figured that this would be co good cold. And I think it was Ibotta has a huge rebate on that, so I picked that up to try it. I don't know if I mentioned the peanut butter. Um, the Mission Flour Tortillas, this is the fajita size, this is another one I did like, I think it was like 8 or 10 pack, uh, or maybe it was a larger pack, but it was the Great Value brand and they substituted for name brand. Um, some white cheddar for a soup that I'm going to make, Fiesta Blend Cheese, that was just on sale. We use that throughout, throughout the week for different things, taco or fajitas and things like that. Um, I needed some... Um, skin on, bone in, chicken thighs for a recipe, and then this is the steak I got. I ordered the sirloin tip steak, but I didn't do the thin cut, and they gave me the thin cut, which isn't a huge deal. Um, it's fine. I can totally use that for what I need it for. Um, we're just going to need that in this hot green chili sauce, and it will be delicious. Um, and then we got a dozen eggs. And then as far as dairy, I need to do half and half for that soup that I'm going to make. I was excited that they still have this. I've been wanting to try it. It's a Danish butter cookie flavored creamer. Um, I love Danish butter cookies, so I'm really, I have high expectations for that, so. Um, light sour cream. Um, this is plain Greek yogurt. This goes in that pizza dough recipe. Um, frozen stuff. I didn't get a whole lot. This is another substitution that I made out very well on. I did the the 80 or the 68 cent or 86 cent things of um, corn 
and they were out of them. They were they're like much smaller than this. So they and I had ordered two. So they substituted two of the two pound ones, which frozen corn is something that I like to add a lot to a lot of soups and things like that. So this will be perfect. I have no problem there. And then I ordered um, I got this big bag of tater tots. We like to do those in the air fryer. And as long as I'm watching my portions on them, they fit into my points fine. Um, this tricolor bell peppers for our fajitas. I got three avocados. They will probably leave these out on the counter because they're a little hard still, but they should be fine for later in the week. Um, a five pound bag of yellow potatoes. That is for a soup I'm going to make. Um, mushrooms. I think I ordered these for two separate meals, so for like salads and then a dinner. Um, cucumbers and then leeks. Now I bought two leeks, and I don't. And on the website, they weren't individual, so I ended up with two bunches of them, which is a lot of leeks. So I'm gonna make a soup with them this week, and then I'm hoping that I can either come up with something else to use them for next week. I don't want to waste them or I'm gonna see if I can maybe freeze them for soups or something I, I'll figure out something to do with them but I just asked for two weeks and I ended up with two bunches so like I said I made out I just have to figure out what to do with the remainder um, I did get a bag of lemons on there and then a bag of onions so I think that is all that I got from Walmart um, if your order is over $50 you can use that 10 off coupon um, which I think is wow fresh, I believe. Clearly my math is off. It was about 120 and then I paid about $110 for all of this stuff that will get us through the week. I can share my meal plan with you guys really quickly. Um, we're going to be making a cheddar corn chowder with bacon. That's what that, those leeks are for. Um, and if it wasn't a cream based soup, I would probably double it and freeze half because I have all the extra ingredients for it, but because it's a cream-based soup, I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, we're trying a braised, and the points, these are Weight Watchers points for a serving that I stuck on the side um, for recipes that I pulled off online that tell you what a serving is. We're going to do a braised chicken thigh recipe with mushrooms. Um, we're gonna do busy's, busy's, busy pizza. We're gonna do salad that night. Um, which I have all the rest of the stuff. I have lettuce and things like that already. That's why you're not seeing them. And then I had on there flank steak fajitas, but like I said, I had chosen the sirloin strip steak and they gave me the thin cut, which is fine, um, with um, refried beans and succotash. And then I have stuff to do like air fryer chicken nuggets, which I crossed this off because I wasn't sure if I was going to need that many meals. Um, but I have plenty of stuff that I can make. So that is everything that I got this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys.